It feels that um, it should start from the manufacturers uh, or distributors of these clothes for us to properly implement the dress code. There's a thought, it's not yet in, uh, like uh, put into law, uh, but uh, the Minister of uh, Religious Affairs is pondering, really thinking around introducing a dress code for this country.
thinks that uh, the devil's become the tailor and he's too economical with the material. Thank you so much. Tanzania, they have controlled. You know, there's Magufuli there in Tanzania. Yeah. There's no nonsense. It's just a matter of controlling what is coming into the nation. Okay. Because now, this time in Zambia, we can we can receive anything. So if they bring that law, I think it will help. If you go to Saudi Arabia, you cannot go in Saudi Arabia dressed in politics. You cannot go to this Muslim nation dressed like the way we dress as a Christian nation. So we call ourselves a Christian, but how we dress is hell. So I think what they are doing, they are doing what they are doing. What they are doing.
Kentucky Court to change people with talk, without act. Let the minister stop those people who go out and uh, order clothes which are not okay. Even in in both, then everything will be okay in Zambia, someone says. Let's get this one before we have a break. Hello? Uh, Reverend Banda from Ibex.
Patiently for that law to be enacted, um, uh, we be waiting patiently to see what happens. More information we'll be able to give. Uh, it's been great having conversations uh, with you. Uh, thank you so much uh, on this segment. We'll be back uh, for more and more and more. Stay tuned. This.